The nice thing about being an actor in London is that you are living in the center of the theater, film, and television world. Well, when you go along to the audition, you might find anything upwards of 30 or 40 people there, if it's a decent part. It's a very tough, highly competitive business. There are approximately 45 West End theatres, which are the, our equivalent to the Broadway theatres. Um, in addition to those, in the Greater London area, we've probably got another 30 or 40. And I should imagine that there are shows running in perhaps 75 of them. Now, in London, you can get to see any show for one dollar if you're willing to sit up in the gallery. Therefore, you find that in London, your audience is drawn from a complete cross-section of society, where in New York, it's confined to the upper middle, upper classes. We've got a far more cosmopolitan audience here. I've been an actress for four years. There are the most opportunities in perhaps all of the United States here in New York for legitimate actresses. In Hollywood, there are the films and the TV shows, but if you want to be on the stage, New York is the only place. Jobs are very scarce in New York in terms of acting. There are approximately, I'd say, about 35 theaters on Broadway. And about 17 of them are now in operation. Going to the theater in New York is so very expensive that people just aren't going anymore. Although New York is the cultural center of the United States, I think that perhaps only uh, a token will are affected.